Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I plant my winter greens. I've got some brassicas here because they can go in now it's getting colder. We've got some kale, we've got some bok choy, we've got some lettuce, that's an iceberg lettuce. We've got some spinach and I've got a beet here that uh, has been in the pot a little too long but we're going to see how he goes once he's in the garden. Alright, so I'm going to pop my lettuce in first. Now lettuces do great in the cooler months. They much prefer the cooler temperatures to get them growing nicely. So I always find I get the best lettuces in the autumn and the winter and the springtime and not so great in the summertime. <laughs> here you see my bok choy here. Now they I planted them not too early for the winter, it's about the right time, but I didn't have them in a mesh screen protection. So they have been chomped on by caterpill caterpillars and whitefly, which is the main reason I don't grow any brassicas for a human consumption during the summertime. They just, it's just too hard to keep the bugs off them, especially the way I like to grow my vegetables. So they're, they're going to be okay though. They're nice, strong, healthy plants and once they're out here they're going to be able to expand and they're going to be fine. They're going to live a long and healthy life till I eat them. Gotta pop in another lettuce and I just have one tray here of these iceberg lettuces I'm gonna have a go at growing. I'm gonna be putting in a whole bunch of different lettuces as I go on through the year. And you want your plants, when you're planting out for winter, you want them to be a certain size or they won't make it through, shall we say. Because during the winter, once the frosts come, once it gets really cold, they're going to slow down their growth really dramatically. So you want them in the ground and ready to, well, have got to a pretty good size, basically. Because then you're just sort of holding them over winter, eating them slowly. But they need to get a bit of a head start. You wouldn't be coming out and planting them here at this size if it was already late May or early June and the frosts were coming. And I've just found some caterpillars on this plant. <laughs> just like I was telling you about, caterpillars love brassicas in the summertime. I'm gonna pop the spinach in now. Spinach is a great winter crop. Uh, it's quite hardy and you can get lots of different sorts of spinach to match your climate. Now here I don't have a particularly harsh winter climate, so I can grow most, most green plants, leafy green plants through the winter time. So I get a few frosts, but nothing major. Now if you live somewhere that has a lot more uh, frosts or heavier frosts, lettuces might not handle it out in the open and you can just not grow lettuces or you can find a sheltered spot. They can handle the temperatures but they just can't handle the lots of direct frost on their leaves. I'm gonna have a look at this uh, crazy beet from the from the intro I, sh I pointed it out to you. Now this was originally supposed to just be thyme in this pot, but uh, this beet just popped up, must have been in the reused seed starting mix. So I left it there and he's looking pretty cool. So we're gonna pop him in the ground and we're gonna see what happens. I really enjoy it when crazy things like this happen and I kind of like to follow through as an experiment and see if the plant wanted to grow. So let's give it the opportunity.
the other option for winter greens. If you're a bit worried that your climate's too cold or you're not sure, or you just don't have a good outside space for growing over the winter, is to use one of these fantastic fabric planter bags. It doesn't have to be a fabric planter bag, it could be a pot or a sack. I really like these, they last more than one season and they're just really easy. So all you're gonna do there, find a good spot that you can grow that has good sunshine but is protected from the frosts. And you're just gonna sow down whatever greens you feel like. I've got a winter mescaline greens mix here. And I just sow quite a lot of seeds, honestly. And what I do is, as they grow, to thin them, I eat them. So I pick them, throw them in a salad, and that thins out the chaos as the winter goes along. And honestly, I normally end up with still a whole bag full of greens by springtime. It's easy, protected, it's just great. Those are some of the greens that I like to grow for winter. Would love to hear from you guys what greens you like growing in your climate and for your preferences. As always, any likes, comments and subscriptions are greatly appreciated and really help us out. Thanks for watching guys.